let's do a case study yeah i think this is very popular case study uh, you have to design a parking lot so in this one you will learn more inheritance polymorphism and encapsulation so th this is the problem uh, problem is you have to design a parking lot system that supports multiple type of vehicles cars motorcycles and trucks you so in the parking you will give a slot to you when you go to parking lot they they give you ticket right and uh, you take a slot sometime they get number 14 you go that is your number 14 they give you a ticket and uh, when you uh, so depending bikes they may charge you less cars bike may they charge you one dollar cars five dollar trucks lot more than yes. cars and motorcycles <laughs> and when you are done you go to the go, when you are taking your car out of the parking lot you give a ticket to the clerk he calculates uh, how many hours you have been in the parking lot and charges you the money so what are the requirement is it supports parking and unparking of the vehicle uh different type of vehicles may require different slot sizes and because that's why cost is different bike you need less space yes. bike you need less space uh car you need more space and trucks you need a lot more space and you need to calculate the fee based on the duration and vehicle types as i said uh but bikes you may pay less cars you pay less may, may poor. so your system should be extensible new vehicle types and uh, code should follow principles like reusability and modularity so just i put a image of a parking lot and, uh, so what 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 are the objects you see here from the problem domain as so what are the things you are we have to design what are the classes here Adit? yes yes so i see here like where key class can be categorized into different class which one car like and we can create one key class and it can be categorized further beautiful car truck exactly so that's a <clears throat> the example of inheritance uh, definitely we need a parking lot which has the uh, parking lot has different slots to in the parking lot and uh, the car will be uh, parked on a parked on a slot and when he, it will be also removed from the slot and you have to pay the money based on like how many hours you were there based on the vehicle type so this is a like little bit example. Okay, you have a parking lot which contains slots and slots hold vehicle as uh, you put it very nicely, Aditya, uh, that uh, under vehicle you can, can have car, motorcycle or truck. So Aditya, like uh, you, shall I run the video or just go yes, through the course? We can run this video. You, you video, video, video? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's, it's very interesting. <laughs> you say Amazon is a real interview as a case study. Yes, sir. Yes. This is 10 minutes video. Mm Yes, always create a new business layer where we put our business logic. So as Aditya, you said, like, let's create our abstract class vehicle. You have a license plate and type. 
just create a constructor method. Uh, so I created the car. Let's create the motorcycle class now. We'll inherit the vehicle. Some type code pilot puts a lot of unnecessary code. And finally, let's create our truck class. implements vehicle abstract class. So we are seeing an inheritance in the picture. In the live picture. <laughs> so slot. We saw parking lot has slots and most a lot of times slots have a ID. Uh, we need to find out whether it's occupied or not and what slot has a vehicle which is a which vehicle is parked so this is first initialized is occupied false so when we park the vehicle uh, so is occupied state change is happening uh, the message is coming that this, this is a vehicle and it has been parked. And when you remove the park, the again state change is happening. Is occupied is false. And you remove the vehicle, set it to null. So of course we need a parking lot which has all the slots. So this is a container class for the slots. So here we are initializing slots. So parking lot, we are making it flexible. So we are giving, telling how many slots this parking lot has. And then we are creating a park vehicle. This vehicle is finding the first uh, empty empty slot and, uh, and parking it there. Move vehicle. So we need to calculate the fee also. Here's our fee calculator. Code pilot is suggesting the code for me. Yeah, I have to fix the type. It's giving vehicle type, but actual property is type. So here it's calculating uh, based uh, fee calculator based on the car. Uh, is two dollar five dollar. I went back to the requirement to see whether there's any. Uh, uh, cost for each car is flexible. Yes. There. So uh, yeah, it's cost. Um, bikes is one dollar, and uh, cars are two dollar, and truck is three dollar. So, no, let's 
write our code, populate these classes with objects. Uh, I didn't like my business layer name, parking lot. I'm going to rewrite it, rename. Because my project name is also parking lot and uh, yes. that class is also parking lot. <laughs> so I'm renaming as... And this was the toughest part to come up with the name for that one. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so I put it public parking lot. I also get confused most of the time. So I'm refactoring, renaming it public, uh, public parking lot. Do you, uh, Aditya, you use refactoring capability from the Visual Studio? Like yes, rename. sir. Like awesome, rename awesome. Change. It helps. Sir. Beautiful. It changes at almost every place. Sure, sure. So there's a car motorcycle truck i'm parking in the parking lot and then removing them on by wood pilot is writing code and remove vehicle remove vehicle remove vehicle and i need to calculate the fee also Remove vehicle. I didn't like this that remove vehicle is taking vehicle. Instead, it should be taking slot. Means uh, when you are giving or uh, asking him, which uh, giving him a ticket to charge you, there will be slot number. Like he would not say, Oh, one car is gone. He, uh, this slot is open. So when I, I need to know uh, when car was parked, it was went to which slot. So uh, I'm removing vehicle from slot one. ID slot two. That's what I didn't like the calculation time there. So I'm removing that. I'm giving that duration inside 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 this program. So let's see all these vehicles were parked three hours before. Two three hours before. Some more console dot right line. So here I'm calculating the fee. Okay, let's run our. So here the for motorcycle three dollar per one hour car is six and truck is nine dollar yeah that concludes our uh case study any question about case study do you want me any question about case study so can you go back to the slides sir? sure sure i'll go to slide and parking lot solution is here so here, sir, we demonstrated on the one step back, sir. 
one here's the and the in the requirement section and and the second um option non functional requirements mm -hmm. and code should follow principles like reusability and modularity mm -hmm. could you explain it more sir so i think object oriented program i think that's what is telling you use uh, object oriented programming concepts because in object oriented programming you will be using reusability uh it means a vehicle vehicle we uh tomorrow is if there's a new vehicle we can add a vehicle okay sir. and uh modularity yes. sir. again modularity in this case modularity i think uh, i would have said modularity is like a uh, cards we put in one library public uh public parking lot and uh could be in different library fee calculator could be in different library so this was a very small example to talk about modularity right okay. uh, so i thought as we uh, like uh, like we, we have different one parking lot business layer so mm -hmm. we i consider like it's a one module and and if you can that's one, what i'm saying <laughs> parking yeah the this could be parking lot could be one module fee calculator could be different module in in fact we put in the business layer basically anybody can use this business layer which is a reusable and a modular example kind of thing means uh, and they can be broken into more granular yeah. car car vehicles could go into one one uh, any other question so let's quickly summarize what we went through Thanks for watching this video. This video was taken out of my master class on object oriented analysis, programming and design. So if you like the video, if you want to know about object oriented analysis, design and programming in details, check out that workshop. It is full of lot of hands on exercises. It has chapters. You can go to a particular chapter.